The single-pass cautery biopsy closure device is designed to cauterize the needle channel following a biopsy. Each procedure begins by properly aligning the selected guide needle with the single-pass device. Aligning the guide needle correctly with the single-pass probe will ensure full cauterization of the biopsy channel. First, remove the sharp stylet from the guide needle. Next, place the single-pass probe into the guide needle. Connect the guide needle hub to the depth gauge hub. Slide the depth gauge and guide needle until the tip of the single-pass probe is exposed at the same length as the planned biopsy gun sample length setting, usually between 10 and 22 millimeters. The exposed length of the single-pass probe should now match the biopsy sample length of the biopsy gun. Twist the blue cap on the depth gauge very tightly to secure it to the single-pass probe. After the depth gauge has been set, remove the guide needle from the probe. The single-pass device is prepped. Now, let's walk through a quick procedure. Here, we're doing a kidney biopsy. Conduct your biopsy as normal. After the tissue sample has been collected, ready the single-pass device by pressing the on-off button to the on position. Do not press the gray power button before inserting and attaching single pass to the guide needle. Leave the biopsy guide needle in place. Next, insert the single pass probe through the guide needle while the needle is still in the patient. Thanks to earlier setup, the single pass device probe tip will extend the same distance as the tissue extractor. Twist the lure to securely connect single pass to the guide needle. After that, Activate the heating element by depressing and holding the gray power button. Wait 10 seconds and then begin slowly withdrawing both the guide needle and single pass device together. This will cauterize the entire biopsy channel. The procedure is now complete.